Ice up. Ice what? Whoa, whoa, baby. Poke it out. Poke it out. Poke it out. All right, everyone. So we have a lot to talk about this the, today. Uh, the Saints versus Bears matchup is coming at us fast. It is tomorrow. I love putting these videos out on Saturday so we can all quickly get our thoughts out about the game and then watch it tomorrow. But I want to first of all say thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers. That's amazing. I never thought I'd either even get one, and now we have 5,000 subscribers. So. That's fantastic. Thank you guys so much for the support. It seriously means the world. But, like I said, four or 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving back. We're going to be doing a giveaway of a uh, jersey or a box full of Saint merchandise that equals the price of a jersey. You get to pick which one that is that you receive. And to enter the giveaway, you have to join the Discord. The link will be down in the description. If you do not join the Discord, there is no way I can get your name to do the giveaway because I can't see every name of all 5,000 of my subscribers. Like that, 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 that just doesn't pop up like that. So. You have to join the Discord. The link will be in the bio. That way I can measure who is in the giveaway um, and see everybody's names. But with that also being said, the giveaway closes tomorrow, October 20th. And why am I doing it so fast, you ask? Because I'm excited and I want to see who's going to win this stuff. So the giveaway drawing will be tomorrow before the Saints vs. Bears game. And once that drawing happens, the winner will be announced. And you will get your package or the package will be purchased or the jersey, whatever, on November 21st next month and shipped to your door um, sometime in, in, that, in that period of time. But until then... Let's just chill out and, and talk about the Saints vs. Bears game because this is a huge game. Um, go ahead and join the Discord and get into the giveaway if you'd like to. Um, if you can't join the Discord, just leave a comment saying that you can't for whatever reason, and I will put your name in like that. But until then, until the giveaway tomorrow, we have a game to worry about, and that is the Saints vs. Bears. 5-1 and one New Orleans Saints. Travel to Chicago to play the 3-2 and two Chicago Bears in a big, what should be, defensive matchup. Let's get into it. Now, the first thing I would like to talk about is the fact that the New Orleans Saints are probably one of the most shorthanded teams I've seen in a very, very, very long time. We have no Alvin Kamara, no Jared Cook, no Trey Hendrickson, no P.J. Williams, no Traquan Smith. There are so many key players that just are missing in tomorrow's game and that's going to be a big reason why this is just a very close defensive ball game but we have been facing adversity since the beginning of the season week two drew Brees. i didn't mention his name somehow but drew Brees tore a ligament in his thumb and was pro projected to miss six to eight weeks and we're currently in the middle of that of along with that adversity alvin kamara his, his ankle uh jared cook's ankle um, Traquan Smith has a high ankle sprain as well. Everybody's ankles are going out for some reason. We've been facing adversity since day one. And with that being said, can Sean Payton overcome it? Sean Payton is making a huge running for coach of the year, but can he go to Chicago and coach Teddy Bridgewater to a win against the third best ranked defense in the league? I don't know, but the New Orleans Saints are extremely shorthanded. Just wanted to put that out there. The Bears fans that think this is going to be an easy game because of how shorthanded we are, you're wrong. Um, we've proved time and time again that d despite adversity, we can still shine. Uh, yeah, Alvin Kamara's hurt, but we have a starting running back in Latavius Murray on the roster. Picked up Zach Zenner, who can make receiving plays. Well, what's so easy about this game? You still have to worry about Mike Thomas. Don't brush us off just yet. The Saints are shorthanded, but I promise you, they will come out and they will fight with every ounce of blood, sweat, and tears that they have. And that is something I'm very excited to see. The next thing I want to talk about is the curious case of Mitchell Trubisky. Is he good? Does he suck? Let's go ahead and see what the stats have to say. So, I got some situational stats just to put into perspective that this dude is just, he's just a big question mark. Mitchell Trubisky at home it has thrown for 48 attempts this season. He's completed 28 of them, a 58% passing percentage, which is a good percentage, 237 yards, not a single touchdown, and an interception with a 62.6 rating. That is god-awful. Mitchell Trubisky away has thrown 58 attempts, which is 10 more times, 
completed 41 of his passes with a 70.7% completion percentage and 351 yards, three touchdowns, and an interception with a 96.3 quarterback rating. You want to know why that is? Mitchell Trubisky had the luxury of going to Washington and playing the Washington Redskins, who have the second worst ranked defense in the NFL, and threw three touchdowns on them. I genuinely don't think Mitchell Trubisky is a good quarterback, and in my opinion, I think they'd be better starting Chase Daniel. He had a rough game against Oakland, but I mean, come on. He's made plays. He's put up points on the board. With Trubisky starting, there has only been one game where the Bears have scored above 16 points, and that was against the Washington Redskins. Um, They put up 16 against Minnesota, 16 against Denver, 3 against Green Bay. He put up 30, 30 against Washington, but that's it. I don't know. Um, Chase Daniel put up 21 points on the Oakland Raiders in a loss. I just don't think Trubisky's that great of a quarterback. I think he's going to have a very, very, very tough time dealing with this New Orleans Saints defense that has been extremely stout these past couple of weeks. That's held Dak Prescott down. That's held Jameis Winston down. They held Jared Goff down for a majority of the game. They've done great things. Gardner Minshew, Minshew Mania completely stopped as soon as the Saints defense got on the field, held them to six points and a 13-6 win against Jacksonville. Mitchell Trubisky has his hands full. This week is going to be a huge testament to what his career is going to be. The uh, Chicago Bears can only settle for so much failure, and this week is going to determine a huge factor. Fresh off of the bye week, can Mitchell Trubisky put up points against the New Orleans Saints defense? We're just going to have to see. So with Trubisky's case being quite curious, I wanted to go ahead and compare the two quarterbacks, Mitchell Trubisky versus Teddy Bridgewater this season. So... Mitchell Trubisky has thrown three touchdowns, two interceptions, 588 yards, and three and a half games with an 81.0 rating. Three and a half games because of his injury. Teddy Bridgewater has thrown seven touchdowns, which is four more than Mitchell Trubisky. Two interceptions, which is the same amount, and neither of them were Teddy Bridgewater's fault. He has 1,089 yards in four and a half games and a 98.4 rating. So Teddy Bridgewater, regardless of him playing one more game than Mitchell Trubisky, has been a very, very, very exceptional quarterback and seemingly a lot better than Mitch. And I'm not trying to spend this entire video, you know, gashing on Mitchell Trubisky, but this is probably the weakest quarterback competition we've had to play since last season. And I'm not, I, I promise, I'm not trying to jinx the Saints or anything. I'm just saying this is going to be a defensive ball game. Teddy Bridgewater is not an explosive quarterback. Mitchell Trubisky is not an explosive quarterback. What's going to happen? It's literally, like, it's going to be an extremely low-scoring game. Like, I don't even know if a touchdown is going to be scored tomorrow. It's going to be a very low-scoring game. In the quarterback position, it seems like the New Orleans Saints do have the edge, though. Okay, like I said, this is going to be a defensive ball game. And when I say it's going to be a defensive ball game, look for the defensive line of the New Orleans Saints to have a big day. Chicago allowed four sacks before the bye against the Oakland Raiders, who have a significantly worse defense and defensive line than the New Orleans Saints. Kyle Long is is on IR, and Ted Larson is questionable for this game. So expect the defensive line to do something similar to who they did against Jameis Winston or, you know, against Jacksonville. Expect them to have a good amount of sacks. The Bears need to stop Michael Thomas. Like I said, it's going to be a defensive ball game. Stopping Michael Thomas is going to be key. If Teddy Bridgewater hits him for a couple of big passes, that could be the difference maker in this game. They also have to worry about Ted Ginn Jr., Latavius Murray, Zach Zenner. Who is going to be the player that elevates the offense next week against the Chicago Bears defense? You got Khalil Mack. You got Kyle Fuller. You have all of these great players on this Bears defense, third ranked in the league. Who is going to be the player to lead us up against them? I don't know. Um, It's going to be a very, very, very interesting game, a very close one, something that's probably going to be... It's going to be interesting in the fact that, you know, it's a defensive ball game and it's a Saints football game, but it's going to be boring to watch, in my opinion. It's going to be extremely low scoring. We don't know who has the edge here. The Saints are extremely injured, and that's something I want to talk about right now. So the New Orleans Saints and Chicago Bears injury report on Thursday or Friday came out. Drew Brees out. 
Traquan Smith, out. Alvin Kamara, out. Jared Cook, out. And Trey Hendrickson, out as well. At least Trey Hendrickson is limited. You know, he's, he's back at practice with that neck injury. Uh, the New Orleans Saints are going to have to ride this out until the bye week. And when I, we're okay. We can take a couple of losses if need be. Um, the Saints are 5-1 and one right now. They have a, a, a decently comfortable lead over the division at the moment. Carolina and Tampa Bay are on a bye week, so this is kind of a big game. There are so many injured players. It, it, it's not – I don't know, man. It, it's looking rough. Um, for the Bears, uh, Ted Larson is questionable. Nichols is questionable. Mitchell Trubisky as well is questionable. We don't know if we're going to be getting Mitchell Trubisky or Chase Daniel. It's, this game is just a big question mark. And yet player uh, Akeem Hicks is also not playing for the Bears as well. So I don't know who the edge goes to in this game. Um, I'm going to predict a tie. 6-6, six to six, New Orleans Saints and Chicago Bears tie. I don't know how to call this game. We have so many injured players. The Bears have injured players of their own. The defenses are both fantastic. I don't know how to call it. Hopefully my re reverse psychology in calling a tie will get the New Orleans Saints the dub next or tomorrow. But this is just going to be a very difficult game to win on both sides as the defenses are amazing and the offenses are absolute horseradish. So... Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate every second of your time. The question of the day, predict the score. Let me know what you think is going to happen in this game, and I will see you guys in the next one. Adios. Balling like Barkley, wrist so sparkly, internet surfing, feel like I Carly.